Hi, this is Involved Innovation YouTube channel. In this video, we will see about how to dockerize a Node.js application. We will dockerize the Node.js and then we will dockerize the PostgreSQL. Uh, we will install this PostgreSQL inside the Docker environment. Uh, we will try to access the PostgreSQL from Node.js application and also from the PG admin. I have created a complete CRUD operations with Node.js connecting to the PostgreSQL in a complete video and then I have also created a swagger report for all the endpoints I have created the link of which I have posted in the description with that being said I will start with this particular repository I will clone this repository and then I will dockerize this particular employment management system I have provided my github repository you can follow along by you cloning this particular repository open the comment prompt here git clone we need to open this in the Visual Studio code. CD into Employment Management Service and then code followed by period. This will open this in the Visual Studio code. Now we have opened this Employee Management Service repository in the Visual Studio code. Then in the db.js, we have hard coded all the PostgreSQL username, password, port, database everything here so instead of that we can put the env variable so that you can pass in the env variable based on the environment where we are going to deploy for example if you are going to use the dev environment you can provide all the credentials and host which is corresponding to the dev environment and then test environment and to the prod environment so it is always good practice rather than hard coding we need to pass this as a environment variable to do that we need to install the dot env dependency so here i will go back to the terminal and uh, install npm install dot env hyphen hyphen save so this will install the dot env dependency and then this will also add this dependency to the package.json you can go back to the package.json once this dependency is installed you can able to see the package.json has the dot env dependency now once the dependency is installed we can change the properties we can create a env file so i will be creating a env file here i will name this as dot env and then i will create the username port where to deploy the node.js application db user and the db host and then the db name and then the db password and then the db port so here i have already created this dot env so I will just copy and paste this for this I'm going to use the container so I have given this dependencies so here in this db host I have given it as db this is because I am going to create a docker compose file so there I will have three different services one is the node.js application and then the next one is the postgres so for the postgres I am going to provide the name as db that's why I have given the db here. I will go to the db.js. So here we need to add the dependency constant dot env equal to require. And here you need to give the package name. So the package name here is dot env. So we have provided the package name. And then here we need to initialize this dot env dot config. This will initialize the config. And then here we can change this to process.env copy this process.env go to dot env so here the db username is postgres Let's copy the db name paste it here and then the db password is pass12345 so here paste the variable and then the host is db so copy the db host variable and paste it here so next is port db port so copy the db port and paste it here and then the database is db name here the user is db user next we will create a new folder so here we can able to see the create delete update read is to perform the CRUD operations in the postgresql so to make it more structured we will put everything inside this src folder so now go back to the create.js see whether there is any dependency here so there is no dependency that need to be changed so this is perfect but go to index.js you can able to see we need to change the dependency 
no longer this create read update and delete are in the same folder this is inside the src folder so you need to make sure you are giving it as src create so this is same for read update and delete this is no longer needed delete this one here also we need to write the dependency so copy the dot env and then paste it here and then go to dbjs copy the dot env config and then paste it here so here no longer we need to hard code the port number so instead of 3000 once you have wrapped this inside the backtick you can able to provide the static string and also you can provide the variable name so to provide the variable name you can use dollar process dot env dot port now copy this process dot env dot port and then go down here we are starting the server there we have provided the static port number so here you can replace this with process dot env dot port and here instead of server is listening in port 3000 which is hard coded you can change this by wrapping the string inside back tick and remove this 3000 and give it as process dot env dot port so now we are done with our basic setup now we have changed the index.js to fit in the variable name to get from the dot env so now we will create a docker file to create the node.js application image so first i will start with the docker file for the node.js first statement which is from so for this we will use node 19 alpine 3.16 as the base image for this node.js application next one is we can provide the working directory this working directory will set inside the docker environment or the docker container so give it as work directory and then the path is user slash src slash app next we will copy the files from this folder to the docker image so to do that use the copy command copy first we will copy all the files which is present here in the root directory next we will copy the src folder wrap this inside square brackets and here just provide package dot json package log dot json comma double quotes dot env comma now we will move all the files from our root directory to the docker image to do that put dot slash next we will move this src folder from this directory to the docker image so to do that copy here the source directory is dot src and then the destination is also dot src next we will use the run command to install all the dependencies so to do that use the run command run provide npm install next we will use command to start docker image so this command will be executed when the docker image is started so that means whenever the image is run as in the container this command will be executed so command npm start go back to the package.json you can't find any command that is start so remove this test we don't have any test script here add start colon so here we need to start by starting index.js next we will create the docker compose this is docker hyphen compose dot yaml i have already created a docker compose file i will copy and paste and then i will explain what is going on in the docker compose here you can able to see i have created three different services one is the api which is the node.js application this will take the docker file and this will take that image from the docker file and the next one is postgresql so here this takes the postgresql image this is available in the docker hub next we will use the pg admin this is also coming from the docker hub now we will use this pg admin to connect to the postgresql and then the api will be connected to the postgres now the api connects to the postgres using the db.js so here if you see we have provided the db host as db so this is because in the docker compose file we have provided the db service name as db now we have done all the steps we have created docker file and then docker compose here also we are using the env variables 
db password db name and then the the db port so to start this application you also need the scripts here we have employee team and then employee assignment here it is missing the sequences so i will copy and paste the sequences here this need to be done manually now we have done everything make sure your docker is running so if your docker is running you can able to see the docker for desktop now the docker is running so now to run this docker compose go back to the terminal and enter the command docker compose up so this will create the image and then this will pull the image from the docker hub uh, this will run the image in the container so now we are uh, starting to see it creates three container postgres api and then pg admin the postgres is for the database api is for node.js and then uh, the pg admin is the ui application which is to connect to the postgres if you want to run any query so now we can able to see the server is listening in port 5000 this is perfect and here we can able to see all this command in a single unified view if you don't want to do this you can run this command as docker compose up followed by iphone d and then if you want to see for a particular container you can go inside so here this is for api this is for postgresql and then this is for pg admin now we will start with pg admin localhost 5050 this is because we have provided the pg admin port as 5050 so here we need to provide the user email address so the email address is admin at email.com so what the password is whatever we have given in the dot env file so it is pass one two three four five login once you have clicked the login you can able to see this you need to connect to the postgres so click register and server and here you can provide this as postgres and then connection we will see how to provide the host name so before that we need to provide the username the username is postgres this is what we have given in the env file postgres and then the password is pass one two three four five and then the host name this is tricky if you provide this as localhost and then if you click save you will get error stating it is unable to connect so what to do here you need to go back to the terminal you can able to view all the containers which is currently running in your system by providing the command docker ps so now we can able to see the three containers one is employment management service api pg admin and then the postgres here in this case i need to get the host name of postgres so i'm just copying this particular container id and then docker inspect container id if you are in mac or if you are in uh, linux based systems you can use grep command to capture the ip address so here you can able to see the ip address this is the ip address this container runs in so just take this ip address and then go back to the pg admin and here instead of localhost provide this ip address daily the double quotes we are connected to the postgres database perfect so now open the postgres database here click query tool go back to the scripts.sql copy everything and then paste it here now click run now the query return successful then you can able to refresh and see refresh this postgres database go to the schemas and then in the schemas there is a public here you can able to see three tables created now the db is running fine pg admin is running fine now we can validate whether our application is working or not so to check whether our application is working or not log in to localhost 5000 api docs I have a complete tutorial for that you can find that in the description so now we will start by creating a employee employee endpoint this is post so this is a creation of employee click try it out 
here i have provided the basic information click execute here you can able to see the response is successful we got 200 back and this is the response and then to check really whether this is entered or not into our postgres click try it out click execute you can able to see this and then if you go to the pg admin select star from employee now if you execute the script you can able to see this particular entry got added this is because we have added this through our swagger endpoint now we have seen how to dockerize the node.js application and then the postgres database and then the pg admin we have created a docker compose file so that we can able to run the docker compose up this will create the image for our node.js application and it will take the postgres image and then the pg admin image from the docker hub and it started this image in the container now whatever you are executing here is through our container so now we have created this uh, thanks for watching this video if you want to see more technical videos like this subscribe to the channel and if you find this video more helpful share it with your friends thanks for watching